Hi again YouTubers, uh, this is uh, one big kid again and I wanted to show you one of my favorite little stoves that I use for camping or whatnot. It's a little gasifier stove as you can see here. I'm sure you've seen a lot of the videos about it. Basically uh, what I like about it is the size of it and how it works. It'll work in high wind conditions uh, because it's deep. I mean, you could, I'll probably try to show that on a video sooner or later when we get a day with a lot of uh, wind. The first day I used one of these or tried one of these was in a lot of wind and I fired it right up and worked really good in the high wind situation. I would suppose you could probably use it even in a you know a light rain condition because it burns so hot. But anyway, I was just going to show you how it works today in conjunction with another video that I'm working on right now um, where I have to maintain like a 17 minute burn. So I thought, well, I'll just uh, try to set this up and show you how easy it is to get started and everything. What we're going to be using today is just a, uh, a uh, cotton swab that has some Vaseline on it, which is kind of a standard, it seems like. And it works really good for me. I'm going to go ahead and use just a regular fire starter because I'm moving on with a different uh, different video as well. <clears throat> and I just got this little bunch of sticks right here that I've gathered up. And uh, I think this is all we're going to need. This is just a handful that was in the yard. Uh, so I'm going to get some small sticks and stuff off of here. Dog's going crazy in the background. Um, and uh, get a few of these ready. Uh, another thing I learned too when you're using some of this, this bigger wood or this size woods. You just break these out about as, about as wide as your hand is what you need to do. Sorry, the sunlight's kind of messing up our shot here. And uh, you know, I'll get a few of those ready. And one thing I've learned too, if you've got a pair of pruners around or uh, I've got a, a PVC cutter, an old one, but if you need to cut some of the bigger wood or anything to the right size, you can really just snap down on that. Do a little cut there snap those pieces off. I'm not going to go pick that piece up, but I will pick up this one I already cut. I'll show you an example. <laughs> okay, so that's how it works pretty much. We'll get this thing going, I think, with just that right there. Get up this wood before we lose it. Good, I don't have to be too organized for this. See, the one big kid is not just a clever name. Okay, so we're just going to light our, uh, our little cotton ball. I'm sorry for the... Uh, the noise there, we got to uh, drop a few of these in here. The air conditioner kicking on. And the, the thing I really like about this is that it, it burns pretty hot, pretty quick. Let's just show you a quick demo how quickly you can get it started. Pretty much really all we need to do. I'll put a couple more little small ones in here on top of the flame. Spin this around a little bit so you can see it it's starting to burn. But just the air coming in through the bottom is going to cause it to, to burn hotter and quicker. You can already hear the, um, the wood start popping in there. So we'll get that going on. And I'm just going to burn a few of these small sticks right now. Let's get things going. The little cotton swab burn, you know, uh, probably 15 minutes on its own, if it's depending on how well you wrap it in your uh, the Vaseline and everything. So it burns really good. I, I keep those and use those to start most of my fires. As you can see, we've already got some of the real small woods already burning. And the, the, the air feeds the bottom really well and keeps everything hot. Burns it really hot when, when you get done burning. With this uh, little can, you pretty much just have ashes. It really takes care of things. And, once it gets burning correctly and gets hot, it uh, usually has almost no smoke to it at all. So there you can see kind of the wood's getting going in there. Toward the bottom, we're not just seeing the uh, the cotton swab burn now. We're seeing the wood burning. Like I said, I'm just going to do a short burn on this one. But uh, I also have a, um, a little wire piece that I've got showed up in the bottom, and I actually forgot to take it out. I was going to use it. It fits right up here on top, and you just set your uh, cook utensils on top of that. I'll show you a picture of that in use here in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and let these sticks burn out. And you can see as the flame starts coming in through the side holes here, that's where the, the gas and smoke is being reburnt and re uh, put into the fire and burning efficiently. Uh, as it gets hotter, it burns in. You can see the sticks are burning up. So this is burning quick. You can see we got a little bit of wind. Uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting it at all. Matter of fact, it seems like more the wind blows, the faster and hotter it burns. See everything turn red down in there. So I love this little camp stove. It's great for like hammock camping. You just want to lean over the side of the hammock and cook something. Um, it's small enough, and the size of it is big enough. I can put it in one of my 
Uh, the back one of the backpacks I use is a Diplomat uh, lumbar pack, and it has two two bottle holder uh, water bottle holders on either side. And I will just take this and wrap it up and stick it in one of the holders. And then they put my liter bottle on the other side, and I've got my whole cook kit. And another thing I, t I tend to do is uh, I pre-package a package of, um, like uh, in a uh, Ziploc bag, I'll pre-package some little twigs and stuff like this, and some, a couple cotton balls and stuff, and I'll actually fill this reservoir here, where the burn area, I'll fill it with one or two loads of wood, uh, enough wood and, and uh, uh, tinder and stuff like that to get this started, one or two loads of wood, so if I set up camp in a rainy situation, I've got one or two loads to get going. If I need to dry out more wood, I can actually, I mean, this burns so hot, you can drop it right in there. See how it's burning red down in there? It drops so hot, you can actually drop your wood down in there and it'll dry out. If you just drop one or two sticks at a time, it'll dry out while your other dry stuff's burning. Or you could even set it on top of your uh, your pan holder to let other wood dry out you know, while you're gathering. But you'd have enough to, to burn. I mean, we've got hot coals here, and usually about two minutes this will boil water. So, um, you know, we've been burning probably a minute or so now, and we're down to the just the coals that are still going to burn pretty hot for a while. Now, if we want to add some more, we could. But when we get done with this, it's actually going to be pretty much ash in the bottom of it. So I thought I'd show you kind of in real time how quickly it takes out these, uh, how well it does and how quickly it takes out the um, the twigs and burns this little hard hardwood that we put in there. And pretty much it'll burn it down from coals. The wind keeps drawing the bottom and it will literally burn it down so it's nothing but ashes. And you just take your little can here and tilt it over. And this particular one is made out of a Hunt's tomato can and then a regular uh, uh, Campbell's soup can. And... Um, that's pretty much how I got the small size. It has a smaller area here where the extra, you know, gas reentry happens, but it works really good. And uh, I also put a link to a um, to a video that shows you how to make these. It's a larger can that the gentleman uses. I believe it's Intense Angler. It has a great channel, and uh, I'll put a link to the the uh, tutorial he had. I thought it was probably the best made tutorial that I'd seen. It showed you how to make it real simply and and uh, shows you the right size of bits and all that kind of thing. Now one thing I did that he didn't do is I, when I got done I have a little grinder so I took a little grinder and grind down the rough edges that were created down here on the bottom on these holes when you put your drill in there. Uh, a lot of times it won't drill as smoothly and leave rough edges and stuff so I, I was be sure to sand those down and stuff. Okay we're back just doing a little follow with that little short burn that we did and you see pretty much in the bottom of the can is just cool now. We pretty much just have uh, ashes in the bottom as you shake them they just pretty much fall out the bottom. So it's really efficient. It doesn't leave any, you know, anything uh, left over in the bottom. So it's pretty cool. Now what I'm gonna do since the can's cooled off, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my little, uh, little wire piece out of the bottom here. And this is what I typically use to burn with and uh, put my pots on and stuff. So we're gonna fire this back up again, and then we'll get the. Uh, uh, gonna actually try to cook some muffins on a makeshift stove that we got going on. I'll put a link to that if it works out. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. We'll get this going again here in just a minute. By the way, uh, you know, I had to cook this for 17, well now 18 minutes, and you saw what we started with for this little stove. And this is what I have left of it. And I've got a good fire going in there. I've got two good of these uh, thicker pieces of wood I just put in there. Once you got it going, you just drop those in there and they'd last uh, two or three minutes a piece, just individually, and keep the fire going. So I would drop one of those in there every couple minutes. Pretty much that's how we got to where we are. So I got us a big blueberry muffin. Everything worked really good. Uh, all in all, um, I pretty much just doubled the cook time on this little stove worked out pretty good and I added a minute for not having it preheated so um, worked out really good I'm gonna extra good cut into that just a little bit see what we got make sure it gets hot though wow mm. a little hot to eat right now but man it looks good I might have to take it inside and show it off to my daughter so look what daddy did honey She's in her mid-twenties, so she's not easily impressed anymore.